Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Dark Huntress Experience. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week, and we are back in the studios for another show. And as you always know, I have my two favorite people with me, Dominic and Alex. You guys say hello, and let's jump right into this episode. Hi, everyone. As you know, I'm Dominic. I am the charming, lovable Dominic. Remember that? Oh, goodness. He's doing that. I'm so macho. Hear me war type of intro again. Please help us. Could you stop it? Alex, I've never interrupted your intro. Why do you constantly interrupt mine? Because it's fun. And I like to see when your little eyes change from blue screen color to black. It looks like you're being possessed by something that makes you want to jump over this counter and do something. And you know that I would kick your ass if you tried. Well, that got dark. Very deep. Very quickly. Okay, let's try it again. Roll it back, guys. Hi, my name is Dark Huntress, and welcome to the very kind and lovable Dark Huntress experience. Alex, would you please introduce yourself? Why, thank you, Dark. I am Alex, the production manager. I'm here to ensure that your needs have been met. The products we suggest are top tier, and we have the best content you haven't heard from other places. But just in case you have, it's more fun listening to it here. And you interrupted my intro for that rubbish ass intro. I'll fuck you up, Dominic. I know my intro was bomb. If you say so, but it was trash. Anyhow. Fuck you. Fuck you right back. Stop it. You two. God damn it. Intro now. Dominic. Yes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> we love each other, don't we, Alex? Yes, we do. Anyhow, I'm Dominic, and today we will talk about something that caught my eye on Twitter. As we know, the internet often lies and people post their views, but this one really caught my attention, and I'm going to put out that little trigger warning. If you're talking about molestation or rape is an issue for you, please exit this episode. I want to thank Dominic for bringing this to our attention. We need to talk about it. This is something that is becoming more and more serious and more and more concerning with the number of people who are finally opening up to this topic. As you know, we had tea a few weeks ago and discussed what happened to her. She was very emotional, but it helped her to talk about the situation. But talking about it does not mean it makes people feel better. It sometimes angers people more. We need to find a way and find out what's happening around the world so we can put a stop to it. So Dominic, present what you need to speak about and we'll briefly discuss it and see what you guys think about this situation. I don't really care to go on Twitter that much because it's full of porn. I thought you would love to go on Twitter because it's full of porn. <laughs> now, Dark, you know, if you were on there, I, I would break my leg to look at it, but it's nothing special that I want on the seat. I can see naked women all the time. I like my girl to be naughty, but I don't need her showing every Tom, Dick, and Harry her goodies. I, I, I'm not talking down to people who do it, but that's my preference. I have to say this in light of what's been happening lately. To the women and men with your dicks and pussies, out only mainly attract predators. I'm letting you know you are not attracting real men or women who want to be with you. You are attracting predators who only see you as a sex object. End of story. Please do not argue with me. I don't want to hear it. I'm not saying your naked body needs to be hidden if that's how you make your money, but put that shit behind a paywall. Let the perverts pay for it. Just like they pay $40 for 10 minutes of boring ass sex. Damn, Doc. Pull it back a little. You're going to start growing horns after a while. <laughs> sorry, keep going. Sorry. Sorry, not really sorry. For people who don't know, we have been looking at a lot of stories online and with the way people are being raped, molested, hurt and even killed, our perspective on life has changed. So if what Dark says gets under your skin, you have to look at yourself, not her. Don't come for us. We're only talking about things we have been through. If it bothers you, then you have a problem. Thanks and to add, if I have my husband or wife or whatever and I want them to strip for me and shake it for me, that's a different thing, or even your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or your partner. But to put it on the internet, you get all these gross comments, which people think are funny. Oh, let me lick that. Let me do this or that to you. You are disgusting and you are a predator. Let me say once more, you are a predator. Okay, go ahead, Dominic. Sorry for jumping in. It's all good. So I was on Twitter and saw a post from Uloma, and 
on this post, it said more women have sex in an earlier age than men. And it says it's from the demographic health survey. You guys, what do you think about that? But before I answer, I want to read some of the comments. We can see where the predators are and who the real people are. And they are showing concern about this situation. First up, the one wrote. Let me say this. The way some of you type or spell really shows you aren't very, um, you know, smart. Please go back to school and practice grammar. Okay, go ahead, Dominic. Sorry again. Damn, we have to go for a drink after this to relax your nerves. Girly and talk about how much I love this side of you. So fierce, so sexy. Stop it. You are making me blush. (laughs) It is sexy though, Dark. Anyhow, back to the one's comment. I will be reading how they wrote it, so don't come for me. Yes, confirming what we all already knew. Women from toddler age are either raped, groomed, or assaulted, or all the above. Welcome to the female human experience. The main culprit equals the male species. This is planet Earth. The second is from AFC Introvert. You speak to 10 females, and 8 out of 10 have been harassed one way or the other while growing up. It's so annoying and disgusting. And the crazy thing is that Nigerian men don't see anything wrong in what they do. How do we change this or how do we make things better in this aspect? We need to come together and look for a solution. Then we have this asshole named Pub Fanatic who said, one nine out 10 of four hoes say you can't change them. And yes, that's how he typed it. His grammar and punctuation in that post makes me want to gag. If you can't spell, go to GPT chat. It's free, my friend. This type of thing angers me because he's talking about people being whores and not changing, when most of the women who are getting raped or who are getting molested are fucking toddlers and fucking minors. There is a difference with people at 16 and 17 and just out there having sex and not caring about their bodies and a fucking five-year-old making you horny. You are disgusting, sir, because I know you're a man behind that profile because not one fucking woman, I believe, would ever say that. You have the mind of a fucking predator. I feel like if the age of consent was dropped to fucking 10, you would be the first fucking pervert out there trying to fuck a child. Oh, let me rephrase that. Rape a child. Because a child cannot fuck. You are raping these fucking children, you fucking assholes. I agree with you there because that person frightens me in the real world because they think this way. They are so concerned about women being whores. Sir, this is not about warring around. I don't give a fuck if a woman had a hundred dicks in her. That does not make her a whore. That does not make her a slut. That makes her, in my eyes, promiscuous. I don't give a fuck who she fucked. Why are you so concerned about the dicks in her? I feel like you want to be the one being dicked down. You can come out the closet. It's 2024. You fucking dumbass. Be a fucking man like me and stop being a damn teenager thinking when his dick. I swear some of you are probably fucked up from drinking and doing drugs that you can't even form a simple thought without it turning sexual. I I get you, Dominic. That makes me so sad because, again, as you said, he's immediately thinking these people in these surveys were talking about when they were old enough to have sex. When this post is really centering around women who have probably been raped and are now old enough to talk about it. Yes, they had sex at 13 because some old man probably groomed her. I agree. They need to post the when and how they lost their virginity, not the age only. Look, when I was younger, I dated older men. You want to know why. Because the older men were the ones who were approaching me, not the teenage boys, but fucking dirty ass men. When I was fucking 14 years old, I told this police officer that I was 14 years old. And this police officer had to be in his late 40s. And you know what? He almost got caught trying to fuck with me. What I mean by that is that he used to call me, and this was before cell phones, He called my house number from jail. How did he get my house number? I have no idea. So he asked me to come outside my home one night. I lived on the street where police officers and other people hung out because it was a dead-end street. When I wasn't outside like he asked, he flashed his lights on the house. But for some reason, my mom and stepdad were still up. And my stepdad saw the light and went outside. Once inside, they talked And he lied, saying he was looking for me because I was 16 and wanted to talk. Are you shitting me? He was looking for a 16-year-old to talk? Talk about what? You have nothing in common. No, he wanted a 14-year-old but claimed I said 16. Have I ever lied about my age? Yes, I have, but did I lie to him? No, I didn't, because I was still a virgin at that time, and he wasn't going to be the one to take it. That's scary. 
I know. Oh, wait, guys, I was just scrolling through and I saw this one post from Cutlass Cannon. White supremacy would solve that real fucking quick. I am so sick of you guys always bringing politics or bringing race in every fucking post that's on Twitter or other social media sites. Democrats didn't do shit. This world fucking sucks and people are idiots. I swear. Think about this Cutlass Cannon. White supremacy was in effect for 400 years. And the reason why the world is the way that it is because they had white supremacists on top for 400 years. You had white W-H-I-T, men raping black women because apparently their white wives were not sexually attracted to them. They had to be sexually attracted to black women, right? To get their dicks hard. Let's not forget. You had white men raping. Black men because apparently their dicks were more prominent than the white man's dick. What the fuck does white supremacists have to do with people getting raped? Are they going to stop it or make it worse? It was bad back then. You were raping women back then, and it hasn't changed. The only difference is it's illegal now. So fuck off with your post. Also, when you look at the statistics, which you can find online, it's not that hard to find. More white men are rapists in jail than black men. More white men are more violent than black men. But when a black man is angry or does something, it is scattered all over the news. Then black men are considered more violent. To be honest, all men can be violent. But I'm so tired of people trying to tag all black men as violent or ghetto or all black women as angry because they speak their mind. So true. Cut the scan in. Your white skin doesn't make you superior or smart even. What I want to know is why does your dick get hard? when you're looking at somebody who is 15 to 20 years younger than you or a child. If you are a dumbass, hmm. and I feel like people like you should not have access to the internet because you are the reason why this world is so fucked up. And I don't know how old you are, but if you are young, you grow up with this attitude, sir. You will not make it in this world. People were not meant to be enslaved. We don't need white fucking supremacists. We need some people to fucking stand up and stop being bitches about what's going on in this world. That's some good shit right there. I don't know why people think that your skin color makes you better than other people. I don't understand why people believe that the way that you were born makes you better than the next person. Everyone is born and everyone dies. Get over yourself. Unless you got fucking blood of gold. You're not better than anybody else in the world. I don't even know why that must be said in the civilization. What, what makes you think that white people need to be in control? of black people or any other race, do you not see what's happening in this world? Black people are not in charge, and this world is fucked up. Sir, let me repeat this. Black people are not in charge or making major decisions in this economy, and this world is fucked up. We need to switch it up a little bit. Let's try it a different way. I'm not saying I want black people to enslave white people. I'm saying that, you know what? We're getting off topic trying to talk sense to someone with his mindset is like trying to teach a goldfish to write with a pencil. Let's go back to the topic because this could be something we could talk about later. Okay, guys. I know we go down the rabbit hole and sometimes get off topic, but you are right. Let's talk about this. Dominic, what do you think about being a man in this situation? I know that most men are, as you guys now say, predators, and, and I, I full heartedly want that to stick. I don't want people to think we are only getting on men. Women do it as well. Women usually have sex with younger men. No, no, let me rephrase that. Women usually rape younger men, even if they are consenting. Here's the difference, but it does not make it better. I haven't seen it. And if you guys have seen it, send me the article. But I have not seen a woman trying to molest a three-year-old baby. I have not seen a woman trying to have sex with a five-year-old boy. I have not seen a woman trying to molest a 10-year-old boy. Now, I have seen a lot of these older, especially in-school white women, having relations with their students. Sometimes the students are between 14, 16, or even 17, but I have not seen an article or read about a woman with a two, three, or four-year-old. It could be out there, but I haven't seen it. I've seen so many of those articles come out, and you are right. It's always a school teacher messing with a student, which doesn't make it right. But I've seen on TikTok with my own eyes of this man getting arrested. This man said that he had been molesting his four-year-old child. And the reason why he molested his four-year-old child was because he wanted the innocence in her eyes. It's fucking disgusting. You want that child's innocence, and now this child is going to grow up not to be a whore like the asshole said. 
They grow up with a lot of mental issues. Some have issues in relationships and have no trust with anyone. They hold it in year after, year after year. And then when women explode like they're doing now, now that everything in the dark is coming out, now the women are crazy and the women are sensitive when all this abuse, hurt and pain is all men's fault. Not all men, just the men who do this to innocent people. As we all know, men are more emotional than women. From age 16 to about 25, I knew I did not want to work with women. I wasn't emotional, but I was told when I didn't want to have sex with my boyfriend because I felt bad or tired after working for 16 hours, or when I wanted to sleep when my period was about to come on. So I knew other women could be moody as well. As I grew older and really paid attention to the way people reacted to situations, I saw how more emotional men were, especially if a woman wasn't interested in them. God forbid you are not what a woman likes. You might have black eyes and she likes blue, or she might like them taller than you, more handsome than you. You get your feelings hurt and are ready to hurt a woman because she said no. Let me be clear on why you are getting mad. You want to F-U-C-K this woman and because she doesn't want your dick, your feelings are hurt. When you'll say women are emotional creatures, fuck y'all. When you'll say women are whores, but when we don't want to fuck you, then you want to hurt or kill them. Which is it? Do you want someone with not many dicks or not? Fucking babies. You cannot control your emotions when you get horny. There are women out there that you can pay to suck the chrome off your dicks, but you don't want that. No, 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 no. You don't want the experienced woman. You want that child, you are sick in the head. And this is why the statistics are this way. That's why more women are having sex. They are not doing it because we are ready for sex. We are doing it because so many were molested. We have been preyed upon when we are fucking 15 years old. Because the moment our tits pop out a little here, come your 40-year-old asses talking about, hey baby, you look good. Of course, I look good to you, you fucking predator. I feel that this world needs to change. These fucking men in these fucking offices, they need to get the fuck out. And when you find out that these men are molesting these fucking women, they need to have their fucking dicks cut off. I said what I said. What do you think, Dominic and Alex? That was well said, Alex and Dark. I, as myself, do not know what the fuck is wrong with you guys. I cannot speak from a woman's point of view because I do not look at a fucking child. I don't even look at a fucking 21-year-old and get turned on. I don't know why you guys cannot control your sexual urges. We are not fucking animals in the, the fucking jungle who don't know their brothers from their sisters, from their mom, from their dads, and just be fucking. This is not how life is supposed to be. And, and here's the thing. You are sick in the head if you get turned on um, by younger people. I have spoken to so many women, and more and more women are coming out as being raped and molested more and more. So who's the fucking problem in this world? The fucking man and Dominic. We are sorry we are on your ass, but we're not on your ass specifically. But the men are fucking predators as well as some women. No, this does not bother me because I cannot tell you once that I looked at a child and thought I wanted a piece of that. I am on board with you guys that this fucking country needs to change and this fucking country needs to change fast. These uh, the creeps on the online who have no fucking common sense need to get off the internet. I wish they would shut the internet down and go back to only having TV and radio because the fucking people in this world have lost their minds. They are getting dumber and dumber with each and every year that passes. The people who were born in the 70s and 80s have a lot more common sense than the 1990s and 2000s babies. One thing I know is I am so happy that so many people are coming out. I'm just going to reach out to say to everybody, if you have been raped, if you have been molested, if you are being preyed upon by a fucking older person, male or female, start reporting this shit right now. There needs to be harsher punishment. You know, give them that castration shot where men cannot get hard. If you don't report, we can't get it out, and then people are still going to be hurt. But I feel like nothing is going to be done because the country is being run by old perverts who allowed this shit to happen. I bet that half of these congressmen, half of these presidents have children whom someone in the family has molested, but they are terrified to say something. Does anyone need to add anything? I'm over this conversation because I'm heated right now. I want to say again, this world is evil, but I think we have to find a way how to get these men and these predators in check. I still don't get why there's such a thing as rape, I still don't get why there's such a thing as molestation. Please, for the love of God, 
I need a predator to tell me what is going through your mind that makes you need to get off with a child. What is going through your mind that you need to rape that woman that's walking home minding her own business? I know it's controlled, but it is only moments of pleasure. Not even good pleasure because half of you men don't know how to get a woman off. I've spoken to so many women who said they have never had an orgasm during sex. They don't even know how to get themselves off. How do you expect a man to do it when you can't? I didn't learn how to have an orgasm until my late 20s. I spoke to a few friends earlier this week and they said they fake it all the time. I feel that if women stop faking it for these men because you're in love and tell them that their dick sucks, I guarantee you shit would change around here. Think about this man I spoke with about 10 people and everyone one of them said they faked it in bed. Maybe we need to do a poll on Patreon. Let us know as a woman if you faked it and even men I know have faked it. We want to know. I'll add the link in the description. Great idea, Doc. Let me go ahead and click yes. Do you need to add anything, Dominic? Let me put this out there for the men, women, or whatever gender you go by. If you think you need help because you can't control yourself and have to get off because your dick gets hard or you get horny, seek mental help immediately. They will teach you to understand that another person's body is not your property. It is not your property to take. It is not your property to touch, especially when they don't know you, especially when they are a child. You are supposed to protect this child. Because of you, this world is in shambles. Look at the amount of shit that is coming out because you cannot control your sexual urges. I hope the people who have been hurt can be healed and we can find a way to stop these perverts. Come right here with you. I get so angry when we have these conversations, but it's something we need to have to get out there and share our stories because the more it gets out, the more people will be concerned. And maybe moms can start protecting their children more. And dads can even begin to protect their children more because it's not just women and girls being raped. It's men and boys also. And just know that here there's no judgment unless you're fucking predator. We'll judge the fuck out of you. To anyone else, come talk to us. Tell us your story. We would gladly let you have a voice here. And guys, I'm going to say that we love you so much that it hurts me that so many people are suffering. There is no reason for it to be this much evil in this world. Please get help and let us know if you need someone to talk to. We are not a popular podcast right now, but we hope to one day have thousands, even millions, of people wanting to speak to or listen to us. Now, to all you fucking predators out there, I hope every one of you loses feelings in your dicks and your genitals so you can never mess with another child or rape someone again. I hope that every time you have an impure thought about a child, fall face first on concrete and lose one of your teeth. And when they are gone, I hope every bone in your body breaks every time you want to rape someone or touch someone you don't know. Damn. Damn. Uh, uh, ha ha ha. I love this dark. But that was some awesome voodoo you just sent out there, girly. I know. So this has been a dark huntress experience. I'm dark. I hope to see you all next week. Have a great week, everybody. We'll be back for some more interesting topics soon. Love you all. I'm Dominic. I approve of every message in here. And if you motherfuckers sit around here and don't change, nothing's going to change. Rise up. Let's change it. Let's make this world to be better. And fuck, it doesn't need to be ran by white people. It doesn't need to be ran by black people. It needs to be ran by people with common fucking sense. Love you all. We'll see you next week. Hello, fabulous listeners of the Dark Huntress Experience podcast. We just want to give you all a massive shout out for being a part of our incredible podcast community and for tuning in to our episodes. Your support is what fuels our passion and keeps our podcast going strong. If you're enjoying what you hear and want to help us continue creating awesome content, you can show your support in a few ways. You can hop over to Patreon, where you'll unlock exclusive perks like unofficial couples therapy sessions, exciting giveaways, and more. If Patreon isn't your thing, no worries. You can also support us through Apple subscriptions on Apple Podcasts. Be sure also to check out the description for additional goodies like part two of episodes, product suggestions, and other fun stuff. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok, YouTube, and other social media platforms to stay connected and catch all the latest updates. Whether through Patreon, Apple subscriptions, or simply listening and engaging with our content, your support means the world to us. It's what keeps us motivated. 
and inspired to keep bringing you fresh and entertaining episodes. Again, thank you all for being a part of the Dark Huntress experience journey. We're so grateful for each and every one of you. We can't wait to continue this adventure with you. And we'll see you next week for another exciting episode. Until then, take care and keep being awesome.